Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flicks, Picks, and the Nip Picks, and I am your humble host, Nov718, man, and we're going to get right into this. I think it's a teaser review. This is um February 14th, obviously the day of the Snyder Cut trailer. It dropped. I just missed it, but we're going to review it together, but I saw some tre- teaser that seemed to have come up, so we're going to check out the teaser. And we're going to see how it is. And hopefully it's dope. So real quick. I haven't really been doing enough. Um, paying attention to, to the Snyder Cut. Um, in news. For the past little bit. Got wrapped up in other stuff. But it's always been in the corner of my mind. I always knew it was coming. But I had a. F- with everything that happened from. An uptick of arguments over the people dropping new video shitting on the the the, Sny- the the justice league film and it, old snyder cut haters or sex snyder haters i should say because they didn't see the cut of the film and deniers and all of that are arguing who was right or wrong making it more about themselves the film is coming out it's coming on to hbo max you don't have to go to the theater to see it you don't have to see it you don't have to pay any extra money to do so if you want to see it you have to go or have have the streaming surface it's a great way to 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 do um very hyper specific films so you now you can't complain no one took no money from you no one forced you to go see it if you didn't like it in the middle of the theater you could have just clicked and changed the channel and watched something else you know what i mean so it's 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 not a detriment you can't argue that you came out to go see it so now what's your new argument you know what our new argument is let's go start looking up old stuff and start complaining about how much you hate Zack snyder because you just really want clicks and views cool then you got a lot of fake bandwagon jumpers jumping on so it just felt like a great energy started to spiral and i kind of seen it on the wall and when the thing happened with ray fisher it was a rap for me, man. It was really a rap for me. I was like, watch, it's gonna be a problem. And and and, and once Walter Amada said, Well, he's not going to be in it anymore, I was kinda like, All right, I see where this is going. The it, it the, the possibilities that was at the end that we could have really dreamed about was there and it's slowly, slowly being robbed because everybody is complaining. Not just the fans. Fans complain their way into getting it. The people behind the scenes are complaining because, hey, yo, you brought us here to migrate away from Zack Snyder. Look at the films. This is how they're going to feel. And you know I'm a Snyder Cut fan, so, and I'm a fan of Zack Snyder's films. So, but the it is what it is. You guys complain. There was, there's, you could go find these videos online, people complaining about it. So when we see all these people complaining about it, what do you start to think? Start to think maybe they don't like it and you try something else. And let's be for real. Not to shit Walter Mata. You only really got one good movie since the turnaround. Wonder Woman 84. And that was the nail in the, nail in the coffin for what could have been for the Snyder universe. But... Let me not get ahead of myself. We're going to get into the teaser. And I'm going to uh, watch it with you. What I, it'll be my first time really watching. I caught one online. I don't know if this is the same exact teaser. And then we'll check out the actual trailer. And I so look forward to the trailer. I so look forward to the trailer. So without further ado, let's just get right into it, man. Let's get into the shit. Mmm, damn. Okay. Wow. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Now I've heard there was a secret chord. 
Oh, okay, they're gonna play the original joint. Alright, this is a good entree. So, I didn't see the first um two teasers, but we'll, we'll go watch this trailer again one more time. That hallelujah is so tough, man. You understand how like good it felt to see to see Zach get this film for us as fans that love the film. Like like I really enjoyed what I was seeing for Man of Steel, BVS, Wonder Woman, wasn't much. And you know, um Suicide Squad was okay for me. But you know what I mean? It was okay. It was it was entertaining. It was unfortunately not the film that I really wanted it to be. When we got to Justice League, I was disappointed because it was such a step down in another direction that I didn't think Zack Snyder would have went. Zack Snyder makes more complex films, if you will. Or at least, I mean, a lot of his films are a lot more multi-layered. And he could bring drama to super characters in a way that no, we haven't seen anyone in Marvel done. Not to not to compare them against each other. I'm just saying the way he depicts them is it, 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 very ma massive, very godlike, if you will, quote unquote. But these are their characters are more godlike than Marvel. Marvel is a little bit more human character low-level light characters this guy's probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other but Zach he's destroyed brings right? such a gothic mythical uh, presence to them larger than else. life and over the top and assembled an excellent I cast and they, there's one thing you can't say that he couldn't do is put together a cast and that he did so again man I'm hyped Yo, I, I I can't wait to watch the trailer again, but I'm going to watch the teaser one more time. We I'm going to cut it after the tr teaser because we don't need no more teasers. We could get to the entree right after this, but I want to see the teasers because a lot of these I did not see. I really did not see. I felt off because I was wrapped up taking care of other businesses and life and whatnot. And I have other businesses on the channel because obviously you've seen stuff going on the channel. My road to Snyder Cut. Oh, man, I wanted to do a lot more with it, but I, I it just too much i was doing way awfully way too much but um we're here i can still there's other things that i can't do behind the scenes that i really wanted to do as adjunct but um we'll get to that in a little bit but again i love what i see we're going to watch it one more time at least the teasers we'll let the well we already seen the trailer before i want to see the teaser again and then we're going to get right to the trailer so let's just do it right now and go mm -hmm. look at Steppenwolf I'm so glad they brought Steppenwolf back to his full true glory shit looks sick I always like that shot how um, he was walking cyborg looks so dope it looks so massive with all the powers, man. These are all three of the um, teasers that I missed. Look at that shit. Mm! Yo, I'm telling you, I'm hype. I'm zooted. I'm hype. I'm zooted. This is enough. I don't need to watch the trailer one more time because I love the original trailer. I'm probably going to watch them all a whole bunch later on today. But we're going to get out of here in a little bit. But um, I like the teasers. They did exactly what they needed to do to build, swell up interest. What we as fans need to do is is to keep on sending the word out. We got a clock down, a countdown. Let's just start getting the word out. Always tweeting about um the Snyder Cut. Always bringing the energy. Let's keep on the hashtags. Me, I got to do my due diligence. I'm really going to be focusing heavy on this channel. Putting out stuff regarding the Snyder Cut. Things that I really wanted to talk about considering it. And I'm gonna start releasing it on um, as much as possible. Like, 
it is what it is but you know i say a lot of stuff but i do fulfill it a lot of times but again you know life is life shit happens behind in the background and i do a lot more than you guys really have any idea i do fucking around with this internet stuff but this is a very big passion of mine loving films and to be honest i haven't been passionate about a film's release and coming out since like the first spider-man when that came out so probably yeah i'm real hype like i don't have hbo max i'm actually gonna order it the week of just because i want to see snyder cut and i want to spend my coins to get it because yo hbo max you brought it out i'm spending my bread to go get hbo max so you got me locked i really wish you would have did a year or whatnot. I will not renew. I probably won't be renewing it. But I'm doing it just to support Zack Snyder. Um, I'm hoping it's good and it earns a, a... And notice I said earns a second season. Or a second... Actually, it's not even a season now. It's going to be one big film. Which is kind of disappointing. Great, but disappointing. Because if they would have shot it out in chapters... I think it would have got more people watching week to week to week. I don't want to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. Cause this is why I fell back from the road to Snyder Cut. Because I seen it going negative when it was such a positive movement. Positive thing to come out. But we're going to keep it positive because it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys out there. And the Snyder Cut trailer just dropped. And we're going to check it out. So let me leave your comments and, and, and concerns below. Let me know how you felt about the teaser trailer. And make sure you keep it locked on this because when right after this drops, you will be seeing my personal trailer review. So let's just get to it. And I'll see you on the other side, man. So as always, like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, till I have a better outro, chill. of thousands of other super beings on the other planets he's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united.